at a waterfall. five o'clock in the day <laughs> um, but if you have watched our previous vlog which will link up the top um, you will see that we mentioned that we were meant to be well we were going to be going away in a couple of weeks and that got postponed because we went into the lockdowns yeah so COVID lockdowns so um, we were able to reschedule for the school holidays which I actually think has ended up working out much better than the original dates we planned. Yeah, so it's pushed back a couple of weeks, but we're here now, and yeah. Yeah, so um, also in the last couple of weeks, ironically, um, these huge big storms and wind storms hit Melbourne and Victoria, so there's been a lot, a lot of tree damage everywhere, which we kind of anticipated coming up to regional Victoria, but didn't really anticipate that everywhere we tried to go today was a no-go zone because of tree damage and construct um, obstruction and stuff so our original plan this morning was to go to camel's hump but as soon as in mount macedon at mount macedon so we just tried going to our first destination and we're driving up the hill and then we got met with a road closure and then this this kind gentleman has told us to turn around because there's too many trees blocking the walking track. Yeah, so he said the roads were all clear, but the walking tracks were just too dangerous. We kind of knew this was a potential coming into it, but didn't think it would be the first the very one first. off the bat. His suggestion was to go and find a nice park. So we'll see if we can head to our next stop on our list. And then, where do we try to go next? Hanging Rock. Went to Hanging Rock. Just to check that out. That was all That no was all locked zone. up as well. Um, then we actually ended up going and exploring a little town called Wood End, but we didn't take any footage there. Um, then it ended up at a random dam and that was really nice. Very curated. Yeah, very artsy, very quirky. Uh, did not anticipate it to be as quirky as it is on the photos online, but it's everywhere you look, there is something different and some minute detail to pick up on. Mm. Um, yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, so we've got a few days here, but the weather's meant to be turning uh, a little bit nasty later on in the week. So. We're kind of not sure what we're going to be able to do with all the parks being closed with all the, the damage. As well, yeah. So we're going to do a little reassess of everything tonight, see if we can make a plan for at least tomorrow. Um, and I'm sure we will take you guys along for the journey of hopefully not any fails, but we'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll see how we went. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
Matthew Sailor's Falls, and that's much cooler than I thought it would be. Yeah, it's actually open. We're allowed to come here, even though there are some big trees falling down. It's uh, oh, accessible. accessible. Yeah, so Sailors Falls was definitely a win in our books. Really cool waterfall, really big. I can get nice and close to it, which is really cool. There are a lot of stairs though, so be prepared for that. Yeah, it's definitely got my heart rate up. Definitely gets a heart rate up, but it's, uh, they're well maintained tracks and everything, so it's a cool place. We might go to a botanical gardens next. We'll see what that's like. Wombat Hill. Wombat Hill Botanical Gardens. Not too sure there's an awful lot to see here. In winter. In winter. Um, but we've just been walking around a little bit, walked down a very steep hill, did it slip, that's great. Now we've just come across a little magical walkway that we're going to explore. I think it's also worth noting by how you rugged up so much, it is quite cold. Yes. And we keep seeing people in like summer clothes and it's very concerning. <laughs> it is very cold. So we're back at the Airbnb now. We uh, went to the Sailors Falls and that was awesome. That was pretty cool. And then we went to the Botanical Wombat Hill Botanical Gardens and then I don't think it was anything to write home about, but in saying that, I think we're pretty spoiled because we normally go to the Dandenong Botanical Gardens and also it's dead of winter, so there's probably not a lot of flowers and stuff in bloom. No, we're just snacking on some cheese board and some dips. Yeah, very not like us to actually create a cheese board, so I feel like we had to do it because we're in Dalesford. It feels like a very Dalesford That's a thing to do. Yeah, thing to do. So we might go and explore the gardens here this afternoon. So the Airbnb property that we're on is super funky. So we're going for a bit of a stroll around just to see what's what. Uh, yeah, the history behind the property is that it was bought in 1995 by a sculpture artist and then she's done a whole lot of pieces around the gardens. So I think there's like a hundred. <laughs> That's gonna be funny. I think there's like, I don't know how many acres, I can't remember how many there are, but it's huge and there's a dam and it backs onto forests. So we're coming to explore the front half today and we'll do the back half tomorrow. Yeah. Are we going up there? Yeah, let's go up there. So we think, and I think I read that there's a maze, and I think this is the maze. Well, so let's go check it out. We're gonna go check it out. Let's find out what's behind the purple and pink door. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this is different. How bizarre. I should have filmed that. So it turns out this big green thing with the door isn't a maze. It's just no. a circle thing with a sculpture in it. Yeah. So we'll keep exploring. Let's go. Oh, that was anti-climatic. 
Was a maze like being in Harry Potter? Well, yeah, because you left me and I was by myself. <laughs> that one felt more like you probably would feel. This place has so many cool features, just like real bizarre things. I didn't even realise it had all of these things when I even booked it. It's not advertised. Doesn't advertise that it's got a maze? No. Should we head back in and then call it a night? Yeah, let's head back in. It's getting cold. It's getting cold. Wait, check out this hedge that's behind our house. How is that being cut like that? Like the whole way down. It's so bizarre. It's very, very dense. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed it. And let us know if you've got any recommendations of other places to go within Victoria. Yeah. And we'll see you in the next one. Oh, we're all done? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll leave that just in case. Yeah. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you enjoyed it, even share it with someone. Yeah. Let them know about it. So we'll see you in the next one. Bye.